To get a better idea of how you can use the uh, average rate of change of a function, say for some more real problems, we can look at this particular word problem. So suppose you are driving to a friend's house, and after 30 minutes you are 15 miles from your own house. After 3 hours you are now 60 miles from your own house. What is the average rate of change between these two times? So in this problem we'll essentially be looking at the difference between our distances uh, divided by our total change in time. This will help us evaluate our difference quotient and we can interpret it as our miles per hour or our average miles per hour between those two times. All right, so first we have to figure out what is our first recorded time. Well, since it was first recorded at 30 minutes, I'm going to use x1 is equal to 0 0.5. Now, I measured one of the times at uh, 30 minutes and the other one at 3 hours. So the difference between those two time measurements is two and a half hours. That means my x1 plus h is essentially 3. All right. Let's go ahead and put this into our difference quotient and interpret the pieces that we have. All right, so the way we can interpret our function is it's basically giving us a distance at a particular time. So first, f of 3 is asking us how far away are we at 3 hours? Well, if we go ahead and double check the problem real quick, it says that at three hours, we are 60 miles away. So I know that my f of three is 60. The second part is our distance at a half hour away. So again, according to the problem, this is 15 miles. All over 2.5. All right, working this out, let's see, I get 45 all over 2.5, and that reduces to 18. Again, since we're looking at our change in distance over the change in time, this is in miles per hour. So our average rate of change, or in this problem, our average miles per hour is 18. 